If you have pain here in the base of the thumb, when you cover your thumb with the other fingers and pull the wrist down like this, this is likely the Cavain tenosynovitis. Today, I will explain how to prevent and treat this condition. So let's talk about the Cavain tenosynovitis today. Before I continue, let me remind you that this video is not intended to replace medical advice. It is for educational purposes only. If you need medical advice, contact your doctor. In case of emergency, go to the nearest emergency department or call 911. This disease is named after Dr. Fritz de Kervain, a Swiss surgeon who died in 1940. He was the first person to describe the symptoms and the cause of this tenosynovitis. This is an inflammation that involves two tendons, the abductor pollicis longus and the extensors pollicis brevis. These tendons belong to two muscles and they are involved in activities like repetitive hammering, lifting, or pipetting. The tendons are protected by a synovial lining and when there is repetitive movements, there will be some inflammation. This condition is usually seen also in new mothers or nursing mothers, most likely, to the new use of their hands holding heavy babies. Inflammation means swelling, pain, hot and red. There is no x-ray or imaging test that needs to be ordered to diagnose this condition. The diagnosis is made by doing this maneuver with the wrist and hand, called the Finkelstein test. If the patient reports pain at the base of the thumb, then the test is positive and the patient has the Kevin tenosynovitis. The treatment. The treatment involves activity modification. I recommend the person to avoid lifting objects with the palm down they need to remember to turn the palms up before lifting objects. Also, to avoid activities that they have to pinch with their thumbs, like pipetting. If they can't avoid these activities, then we could modify the tools, like using a large handle to grab objects. The goal of treatment is to reduce inflammation. I recommend the patient also to buy a thumb speaker splint and wear it at night to immobilize the thumb, at least when the person is sleeping. If possible, also to wear the splint during the day. These are some types of splints that patients could buy, and I will leave some links in the description of this video below if you want to purchase those uh, thumb splints but you should be able to find them easily in your local pharmacies or health stores. Patients can also apply a topical cream of anti-inflammatory like diclofenac in this area. They have to apply it three times a day. Some patients do not like to be applying creams or other things on their hands during the day. So in this case, they can take anti-inflammatory pills. I have another video about NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, that I talk about the different types of NSAIDs, the side effects, their contraindications, and the maximum doses. Applying local ice can also help to reduce the pain and the inflammation, but ice has to be applied for at least 15 minutes and protect the skin not to cause any burn. If these conservative measures do not resolve the symptoms, then I usually do steroid injections around the tendons, and this will reduce the inflammation, but only temporarily. And if the symptoms persist after the injection, I refer the patient to a hand surgeon that could be an orthopedic surgeon or a plastic surgeon. In that case, the surgeon may need to perform surgical decompression around the tendons. We usually do maximum of three injections of steroids, not more than three. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications. Watch my next video here. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.